chicka chicka boom boom. Here we go. Isn't this fun? So here we are in What's New. It's Thursday again. Peter's behind the camera. Say hey, Peter. Hi, everybody. And he's very handsome in purple today. I'm just going to tell you, purple's his color. If he's got it on, looks good. So. Um, Thanks. Yeah, he's in the purple day. So, chicka chicka boom boom. We're going to talk about fabric today. The last couple What's New videos, it felt like we didn't have a whole lot of fabric to show you, but I think it's just because of the way shipping with fabric works sometimes. We order enough that we usually get three, four, five lines a week, and shipping's been a little, you know, kind of slow coming in. So, hold on. If you're a fabric person, just like pour a cup of coffee, pause this for a hot minute, get you a little roll, get ready to sit and watch some really cool fabric. But this one, I I think this is going to be gone. Let me just, if you're watching the video and you want it, call us. This Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is like a beloved children's story. We had teachers in here on Saturday. We were loading it um, into the system and getting the panels cut. And they were like, Mom, I gotta have it. This is a bulletin board instant done. Like all you'd have to do is buy this panel, stick it on your bulletin board in the classroom, boom, you're done. Um, how fun is that? So that's one panel. And then the other panel is, I bet you know what it's gonna be. If you know the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book, all the letters are the ABCs with the little Chicka Chicka Boom Boom in the corner. Again, you know, if you're working on uh, the letters in the classroom, oh my gosh, this would be so easy to just cut up and put on a bulletin board and, and use it again and again and again. If you just have a child who loves Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, this is going to be a great opportunity to make a really fun quilt. You get a capital letter and a lowercase letter of each letter. So, you know, if you can spell it out right, if you're going to have to have some letters, you might have to buy two panels to get enough letters. but. Or find a friend and swap panels. But anyway, it is just those chicka chicka boom boom people, you know, we've got some great go withs on this. It's it is the chicka chicka boom boom pattern. You've got all the dots, which love me a good dot. Love me some good dots. Um, every kind of dot in combination that you can think of. You got these lovely little chevronish kind of pieces to go with. I see borders out of that. I was making a quilt. And then here's just the letters in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. If you can say them in order. So they are linear and in order. These are tossed letters. So that's kind of like a Where's Waldo of the letters. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then here's a tone on tone because you, you know you want something kind of quiet and gentle for the background. So this would be good to, to work with those pieces. And then this just says chicka chicka boom boom. There you go. So this beloved children's book, which has been read, I, I know we had a teacher walk by and she's like, oh my gosh, I read that book so many times. Um, now you can have it in fabric. And I, I just, it's gonna go fast. They're only 10 yard bolts. It's gonna be out the door, especially the ones that are the, um, that have the actual chicka chicka boom boom on it and these panels. Like I said, instant, instant uh, board in your classroom, whether you, you know, take the letters, cut them up, give everybody a letter and let them talk about the letter. I mean, I can think of all kinds of fun things to do with this line. So loving Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. But there's so many fabrics to look at. We're going to go around the corner here. I'm going to show you a whole bunch more. Come on this way. These are yummy, 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 yummy. So this is from the Moda Company. Um, and specifically from the designer of Cory Yoder, who is Coriander Quilts. And this is just the yummiest. Um, it feels so spring. And you know, today it's all the wooden like 80 like 50 degrees or something peter this morning we had a little discussion didn't we peter about sweaters yep peter's a sweater guy he likes to wear sweaters but you knit beautiful 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 sweaters thank you and so he has an opportunity to wear them when it gets cool and so i was going around the building this morning turn on all our furnaces because we have you know seven or eight furnaces to get us heated up and i was protesting <laughs> he was like 
He goes, I said, well, all the employees are going to complain that it's that it's cold. And he's like, well, if I complain that it's too hot, will you leave the <laughs> furnaces off? And I'm like, well, somebody's going to complain either way, I guess. But anyway, we did turn them on. So we're trying to warm everybody up a little bit. Yeah, and then what's new? We have, we have okay, let's talk about what, here's really what's new. We just had somebody hold up a sign from the peanut gallery. Let me introduce you to our newest staff member. This is Alex. Hi. Say hi, Alex. He just joined us a week ago. Not uh, even that. Yeah, about two weeks maybe? Yeah, two weeks. And and what's your favorite thing to do? Uh, cross-stitching. He's a cross-stitch dude. I do. He's a good cross-stitcher. And so he's joined our staff. He's here evenings and Saturdays, which is kind of one of those times we have a hard time always getting enough staff to able to work. And you're a student where? Uh, at Ivy Tech, just across the street. Just around the corner. So he was, well, the reason we even figured out to hire him was you were coming in here and just hanging out. Yeah. And everybody on staff got to know him, and we're like, you know, I think he'd be a good fit to join our, our club, <laughs> our little family. <laughs> and so far, 10 days in, think you're going to stay? Yeah. Yeah, I think, he, I think he is going to stay. <laughs> I love it here. He loves it. It's a yeah. great place. It is. We have a lot of fun in here. So welcome to Alex. If you, He's definitely a new fixture in the building. And he moves, though. And unlike some of our fixtures, you move around. Yeah. <laughs> so say hi to Alex if you're in. And... Uh, this is our YouTube group, so say hi to the YouTube group. Hi, YouTube group. There you go. <laughs> so if you see Alex, you'll know he's he's part of us. Yep. Got your name badge and everything. You're official. I am. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. It's not even his day to work, but he comes in anyway, just like the rest of the staff. I know. I love working here. It's, yeah. I can't. You can't keep me away. I know. We can't. We're glad you're here. <laughs> thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Okay. So that's a really what's new, what's hi, new. Alex. But we've I'll also got you. fabric, what's new, too. Um, this, as I said, is from Corey Yoder. It's from the Moda Company. It's called um, Peachy Keen, and it is Peachy Keen. Lots of, this blue with this peach is just such a pretty color combination. And you know what that little piece of fabric I have in my hand right now would make really cool English dresses. paper. Dresses. Okay, dresses. English paper piecing too. So this goes all the way around, Peter. You're gonna to have to just do a little drive-by here with the camera so they can see. Um, we have charms. No, we don't have charms. We have, we have, yes we do, we have five inch charms, we have jelly rolls, and we have layer cakes in this line. But just a few. They came in early and they've sold quickly. Look, then she goes into the green. Look at the green with it. I love that lime green color. That's really pretty. There's a lot of bolts in this. Um, if you would like a fat quarter bundle, contact our orders department and she can get you a fat quarter off of everything on the line. If you give us that advance notice, we can do that and you get it at the per yard price rather than the fat quarter price. So, you know what else she pulls in is a real pretty gray in this line. So, love us some Cory Yoder, Peachy Keen. There's her sweet little face. Look how sweet she is. Coriander quilts from the Moda. So be sure you get some of those. I think you'd probably really want to have that in your collection. Um, and then we have a kit called Barn Star 6. And it uses those fabrics. It makes a 40 by 40 quilt, which I'll be honest, that's a really nice size for a table topper. So there's the complete quilt top binding and backing fabric in this, which is a little unusual. You usually don't get the backing fabric, but you did in this one. Um, but it's a smaller quilt. So this is a nice wall hanging. This is a great table cover. Um, and there's only a few of those left. So those are, all, this is moving quick. Don't miss the opportunity to shop with that one. And then the other one, I've got so many to show you. It's too exciting. The other one we received in is this one. Now, Betty, Betty. Is, Betty, Betty. We have a staff member, Betty. Y'all know Betty? Yeah. Betty's not new. Betty's not new. Betty, Betty, how long have you been here now? Nine years. Nine years she's Nine been on years. our staff. This is my retirement job. This is her <laughs> retirement job. So I'll be here till I die. She'll be here till she die. Well, I hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. I, mean, well, I hope not either. But, I know. You know. We want to keep you around for a while. But yeah. I do have to laugh at that Betty's geranium garden because... If those were Betty's geraniums, they wouldn't. They'd, <laughs> They'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Betty doesn't have a green thumb. But these are called Betty's geraniums. We have a Betty on staff, and she's she's we call her General Betty, so she keeps keeps us in line. Um, anyway, Betty's geranium by Benertex. 
these are really pretty. If you've been to Mackinac Island and stayed at the Grand Hotel, you know they use red geraniums up there. And so I think if you have someone who's in Michigan, um, this would be a really good thing to make for them because the geraniums have kind of a special meaning up there for that Mackinac Island. Um, but this, this is another one that has some really pretty, pretty, pretty tones. It even picks up some pink, which is kind of a curiosity to me that they would put that pink. But look how pretty that pink is. And you know what it has that I'm in love with? <gasps> look at the stripe. Now, I probably will buy some of that stripe just because it's going to do bias binding so pretty. I love a good stripe. I can't stand not having a good stripe. And you just never know when you need a good stripe. So Betty's Geraniums is another fun one. Um, this one also has strips. So here's your two and a half inch strips. If you want to invest in those, those are nice to have the pre-cuts. That's the only pre-cut that we get from the Benertex company on these is the, is the little strips. This is designed by Jackie Robinson. So if you follow um, that designer, you can be sure, oh yeah, that's one she's made. I want to be sure I get it in my collection. So, and look at that stripe there. Mm, it is just a yummy, yummy, yummy stripe. So that's a fun line, feeling that. It's, I realize it's October and you're thinking, well, why are we doing spring fabric It's time for spring now. It, <laughs> for us. Christmas it, has come and gone and now it's time for spring. It has, we get our fall and Christmas fabric and holiday fabric in like March. May or June. Yeah, sometimes even as early as March. And that's because as crafters, you probably have already finished your October projects. You've probably already done your Christmas work. Well, some of us have. <laughs> there are procrastinators among us who take a little longer. But the ideal is you've already finished those projects. So that fabric, although we still have quite a bit to choose from, is, is pretty much kind of passe. And we're moving on till we're ready for Easter now. We're planning for Easter. And especially if you're working with groups that are doing like bazaars or church sales or um, any of those projects where you're doing preparing for uh, quilt guilds or retreats or you know shop hops, things like that. Um, if you're going to be selling or being a vendor, you're going to want this stuff now to get it ready. So that's why you're seeing spring. If, if you're like, but wait a minute, it's not spring. It is in our world, in the crafting world. Okay, I got another one to show you. This is a good day for fabric. Um, this is from the Studio E Company, which is a Jaftex owned company. And this is red work. So those of you who enjoy red work, you have a delightful option here to actually do some hand embroidery work if you would like. I just placed an order this morning for some of the Aurafil um, Red Work uh, Floss. We'll have just a few spools of that if you would want to go through and do this in Red Work. I know Alex, we just showed you our new employee, was thrilled to see the little hedgehogs on this. Um, this would be so sweet. Just exactly like the panel is, all you would have to do is do the hand embroidery on it and turn it into a quilt top if you wanted to. That's kind of an old style. The other thing is, if the hand embroidery just makes your head swoon, you don't have to do any hand embroidery on it. Just just quilt it like it is and, and leave it that way. It's fine. Um, when I was putting this fabric, I got to work in the yarn department, which doesn't usually happen, and I got to be out here and price the fabric. I was so impressed with the hand of this fabric. It, it has the yummiest touch. We need touch vision again, Peter. We're back to touch vision. And there's a particular piece in here I want to show you. So this one, this one just made me smile. Look at this. They're mushrooms. Oh my goodness. White background with little red tossed mushrooms on there. Is that fun? Now, Peter. I know. <laughs> what are you going to make with this? Red work quilt. <laughs> I would English paper piece those little mushrooms or an ice spy quilt. How perfect would it be to have an ice spy? It, like, it reads like a polka dot. It like does read like a polka, polka dot. dot. But when you get up and look at it, they're mushrooms. How fun is that? This also has in it a pre printed panel of hexagons. So this is already like got English paper piecing screaming on. There's some bees in there. These are hearts overlapping with what kind of look like paper clips. Um, nice little scissors on here. So and so, so it goes, so till your heart's content. It's, it, it is kind of sewing related because of those of us who have done red work forever. Um, 
but it's a really pretty red color. Um, and look how pretty this is. That's just lovely. It's got a deeper kind of burgundy-ish color of red and against that the true candy apple red, I would say, and then the white. It's just so fun. Oh, we can't forget to do Kathy's fashion show today. Oh, yeah, we got Kathy's fashion show. Too I already coming. warned her. Did you warn her? Good. I did. Good, good, good. good. We got to see what she's wearing. Look at the bees. Bees with the hexagon. Or is that a honey pot? The little honeycomb. Those are cute little bees. You always see bees in yellow or black, so this is kind of fun that they're in red and white. Um, so anyway, this is a great one. I think it's a, another one that's going to sell out pretty quickly because of this of the nature of it uh, red work is really popular and um, if you hold on and if you're interested in, in actually doing the hand stitching we will like I said have some of the uh, Orphil red work thread that's made it's a floss made just for that so let me look at my list here to make sure okay we saw that one we saw chicka boom boom we saw buddy geraniums peachy king okay now we're gonna go over here this one is for you knitters. <laughs> this is so cute. This one is another one from the Benner Tex Company. It's called Love You, E-W-E, -E, Love You, get it? Love You More Swirls and Knitting and Little Lammies with their little knitting needles, knitting scarves and hats and little mittens, and there's little skeins of yarn. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. I love this, love, love, love this. There's a panel with it, so let's do the panel reveal. This is another one that has just the blocks. Keep calm and knit on. I love knitting. Time to knit. Knitting is my happy place. So much yarn, so little time. All those things those knitters say. This would convert great into a bag. So the um, So Many Creations bag that we made, the tourist tote, this would be perfect size to cut into making one of those bags. Or, you know, if you've got a knitter, what a perfect thing to, to make a nice little quilt for a knitter. Uh, little throw pillows, these would make fun little pillows. Lots of great things to do with this panel. Um, and then the fabric itself, it looks like knitting. So look at this. Look how fun this is on the diagonal. There you go. So if you're not a knitter, but you wish you were, buy this fabric and say you knitted it. <laughs> <laughs> um, perfect for the going into the winter season. It's, it's all the pretty little scarves and um, socks. And Peter, you've got a sock thing going on, mm -hmm. don't you? I you do. Got a little group of people I love that are it in socks. doing socks right yeah, now. Yeah, we have a group that's knitting our Always in Stitches Christmas sock knit along. Yeah, so um, that's Patrick's got his yarn. I don't know if he's cast it on yet. Debbie said she wanted to do it. I think she has yarn to do it, or she's doing a shawl. But then I think she wants to do socks too. And then Nancy's doing it. Yeah. Maggie's already got hers done. <laughs> I coincidentally was knitting a sock, so I'm going to say I was in it just to say that I did it. Cappy's doing it. I'm doing it. There you go. So this is some fun colors. There's a little black sheep on this one. So I always love when I see a group of sheep and there's one black one because you know. That's just cute. Little black sheep with the little hats on. He's got a little blanket on him. Skeins of yarn, skeins of little pieces of yarn. There's um, pins in there, there's spools. It's just, this is so sweet. Pretty little hearts with balls of yarn. Here's all your poor little llama, or your little sheep all lined up trying to stay warm. And then, because we are a knitting shop, They've pulled some yarn that matches this. So, you know, maybe you're gonna knit a bag and you need a lining for that bag. Those those people who knit bags and things, this would be great for a lining. I've even seen people knit afghans and then put fabric on the back as a, as a background. So, lots of choices on how to combine the skills and the things that we offer in our store. Um, so if you wanna span those and see all those fun ones. Oh, here it is in black and white. I hadn't seen the black and white. That's fun. Just a straight out black and white. That's kind of cool. That'd be great, just a black and white quilt. And swirls, we always do good with swirls. So this is a fun line. I, I think it'll do well for us. Um, and you're gonna wanna get some. Again, 
So we say this all the time, and we even have a sign by our register that says, if you don't buy it now, it could be gone. And and as much as I, I hate to say that, it does happen a lot. People come in, oh, I bought, you know, two or three yards, and now I'm getting ready to do something. I need a little bit more, and it's gone. And I really always feel bad when that happens. But but so buy what you need. Get all you can while you can get it. We do have a finish the bolt opportunity where if there's three, three yards or more, um, you get a 30% discount. So if you're going to buy a big chunk, that helps you save a little bit of money. And then the other one we're looking for is Me and My Sister Sweet and Plenty. So did you ever eat Sweet and Plenty, sweet and plenty candy? You heard of Sweet and Plenty candy? I've never heard of it. It was, a, it was an old candy that you got at the movie theaters. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked it. But the Sweet and Plenty was a type of candy. This is from the Moda Company, and it's me and my sister, which is Barb and, and Mary. And they always do very um, colorful, really pretty geometrics. So you'll see circles and dots. Those are overlapping dots with little yellow dots in them. This has a chevron in it, which I'm not surprised. That's kind of chevron-ish. Um, they wrote the books. There's a lot of books they have called... Um, they're, they're kind of the pre-cut pre queens. They do a lot of books with pre-cuts that make some really, really fun quilts. Um, oh, look, it's got little birds in it, too. I'm making a mess of things here. Look at the birds. They're little green wings. That's a really fun one. Um, they put all these down low, Peter, down where you can't get to them. This and is they also a, have black. Oh, do they have black? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's kind of unusual for them, so that's cool. Yeah, the black's nice. Yeah, these are pretty. These are really pretty. I like it with the black background. I agree with you. Um, and this one, we should have... We should have charms and layers and jellies for these, too. Somewhere. I wonder where they are. We'll have to find them. But there are... There are pre-cuts to go with this, I feel sure. They may just not have gotten put with it yet. Um, so that takes care of our fabric. Now, while, one day, one afternoon, they were in the back and a box of yarn came in. And it's so pretty. And fortunately, they were able to, to film a box opening with that. So Peter's gonna plug in the box opening so you guys can see how pretty that yarn is. And um, we are constantly ordering more yarn in. We literally got that shipment in, and the same day that shipment came in, and we placed another order with the Barocco company for more yarn. And I called them this morning and added some more yarn. So y'all are really like Jones and on the Barocco yarn. I get it. It's lovely. It has a great hand to it. So um, come in and look at the Barocco yarn in person. But meanwhile, watch this video of what he saw when they were opening the box. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Okay, did you hit the button? I did. Oh, she's going. Hey, Peter. Hey, Nancy. What you doing? Waiting for you to open a box. Why? What's in the box? What's in the box? Tell me what's in the box. Amazing yarn. Um, it's from Barocco. Is it? It's from North Smithfield, Rhode Island. Okay. Is it? You want to see, Peter? Yes. You're I want to see. You're killing me. Oh well, then let's make this last a little longer. Come on, come on, come on, I'm excited. You guys, you're killing me. You don't even knit. I know, but I like yarn. Next. Peter. These guys, I'm telling you. Excuse me. Peter got to order some new yarn last week. New colors of yarn we already carry. That's what he did. No, I ordered colors that we didn't okay. have, well, we and I ordered yarn. Oh, I'm we didn't sorry. Have. So oh, you these did? Would be yarns. There's uh -huh. a these little knitter. Yarns knitter. That we didn't um, have. This yeah, is a, a little, little knitter, knitter in the box, <laughs> and look what it made on the way. <laughs> wow. Uh, Janet says this is out of the family <laughs> pattern book that we have here. We, we do. do okay. It, don't we? Yes, we have. It. Yes, we have it here in the shop. Okay, so that's a pretty sweater, and that we got some yarn. How come we got a pack? How come we got a? Sample. Barocco's really good. If they've got samples, we can order samples. And now, what's that called? I'm sorry. It's made out of vintage. Vintage. Okay, we, we've been carrying vintage. Yeah, yes. we have been carrying vintage. But this is the color this sweater's made out of. I love it. What, okay, what do you want to touch else? next, Peter? How about um, socks? Do, do the Alexander pattern with the signature sparkle. 
This is a new signature sparkle. Okay. Oh. It's got a little fleck of glitter in it. And this makes socks. It's sock yarn. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, that'll work. So and that's from, uh, what was your that's from the West Yorkshire Spinner. So it's a company in Britain, and all the sheep are reared, okay. sheared, and spun in Britain. Well, okay. I mean, darn, that's pretty. Right. They spin and the sheep? What do they, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have to spin them around when they shear them, Nancy. So it comes, <laughs> is that a free pattern, or is that a, what is that? If you buy a skein of the Nutcracker, you get this free pattern, and it's an Alexander. And this, the card just gives you the QR code okay. that you would go on to right, and get the pattern. Gotcha. Now, how many socks does that skein make? Two, plus some extra. One Unless you're pair. Peter, and then it's no, it's still, well, it still, still makes gets... me a pair. I can okay. get, um, cool. I can get a topper that's ten inches in length. I don't even then, know what they're talking about. Mm. This more one, sock yarn. This is Cappy. More sock yarn. Cappy ordered this one. She said it sounded like a cocktail. It is a cocktail. It's called Rum Paradise. Oh, of course Cappy so did. So it's your rainbow colors. It's part of their um, cocktail collection where all the yarn is named and colored after a cocktail. We've had this one, haven't we? Uh, I think this so. is Swallow. They have a line birds. of sock yarn that's birds. Oh. Peter did the goldfinch one. Did you do another one? Um, I'm working on either the owl. I can't remember if it's the owl or the the duck. Oh, mallard. the mallard. mallard. I love the mallard. Yeah, I'm working on one of those two. And I like this one too. It's called Kingfisher. And you have to kind of think about the bird while you're doing it. Okay, Peter, I'll let you talk about those mm -hmm. since they're your favorite. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is from West Yorkshire Spinners. This one's called Felice. Oh, okay. And Felice, what that means is that it's from it's straight off the sheep that they spun. And this one comes from they the spun Jacob. The sheep. They spun yeah, they the spin, sheep they again. spin the sheep around. <laughs> so and that, that sheep's name is Jacob. This is a Jacob sheep. So this is a sheep of biblical proportion. So it's the Jacob sheep. Did you just make that up? He I did. did. Okay. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> you guys, So this, this is, is what a, I have to work with every day. This is a natural undyed color, and it still has a lanolin in it, so it, it just has a nice, natural, crisp feel to it. Um, it's not going to be soft like your merinos, but this is a British breed, so it's So what very, do you make out of that? You're going to make a really, like a really warm, almost type of sweater. Okay. Um, um, it knits on... It knits up on 18 stitches to the four inches using a US-8 needle. And this is the natural color um, that they've blended white with other colors to get this gray. And then this one is, is this more of the same? It's Jacob. Jacob. It's still biblical proportions. Okay, now this one's the blue face luster. So is the, that how you say that? I don't, uh huh. I'm, blue face luster. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. I gotta get, oh. Uh, oh, there. Got it. The blue face luster, it's a longer wool sheep. Um, it's got a very, more of a silky feel to it and a really nice luster. And this one, they've blended natural colors of the sheep to give it this really beautiful color. And I can't decide whether I like the gray or I like this warm brown. brown. I like the warm brown, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm super excited about these. Because most of all your wools are super wash. Um, this is not super wash. This is your regular, just beautiful, awesome feeling wool. When I walked in a few minutes ago, everyone, Peter come in my office jumping around because we got new yarn in. So I was, that's, yeah, he I was, was very, he I was, was literally jumping around. He was very excited. Okay, now what, Peter? Um, the next one we have is called Riddy. I think it's called Riddy. Um, it's this is from one. the Amano. Made in Peru. I can't get the, they won't focus. It just takes a second. Did you get the tag? Yep, I got the tag. Okay, um, this is a mono, and this is 100% merino wool. Again, this is um, not super wash, so this has a just a really nice bouncy feel. Um, this orange is a really unique color. It's a blended colors of different shades of orange. It's pretty. And it's very beautiful. Looks like a dreamsicle. Yeah. The next one's really cool because it's like a heathered blue. They had a darker version of this, and this is kind of like a shade lighter than their darkest version. 
Um, this is going to be perfect for a warm, cozy sweater. And these are worsted weights, so any of your worsted weight patterns, you're going to be able to knit something with these. But this has a really nice heathered look to it with all the different shades of blue that they have in it. It's pretty. So Nancy, how soon will these be on the floor? Yet today. Okay, well it's Thursday after lunch, so this, according to Nancy, will be out on the floor later today. I'm uh, pushing cross stitch back to get yarn on the floor. Oh no, I no. Know. That's just not right. But no. Those yarn people, they, they can get vicious. Okay, Peter, tell me about that. This is the Barocco Lanus. These are all pure wool. Look at the pretty colors. And the idea behind getting all these yarns was to give you guys something that wasn't super washed because a lot of people who have knit super washed, they put so much time, energy, and effort in knitting a sweater and they tend to lose their shape. So the pure wool, it'll give you excellent stitch definition. It'll show off cables really, really well. Is it scratchy? Um, this will definitely have more of a, a textural feel than what a superwash will have because it still has all the the structure of the hair fiber or follicle um, on the wool. But these are Hi, um, Julie. these are colors that are <laughs> pick that we didn't have in the shop, which are lighter colors. So all these are nice lighter versions, pastels. which the pastels show off lace cables. Uh, any stitch definition that you want to show off, light colors really do a good job of doing that. Did you say what weight this was? Um, this should be a worsted weight. Four. Yeah, it's a worsted weight. So any of your worsted weight patterns will work really well. Now what? Now we'll see how much makes it to the floor. Now we'll see how much <laughs> makes it to the floor. So is that all? There's nothing else in the box? That is it. That's, That's it. Okay. Come, come visit. Come visit us. Hey, I'm Kathy at Always in Stitches. You were just talking or seeing Kathy with Peter, and I'm going to show you the uh, notion of the month. The first 100 people that come in the store and spend over $100 or over get the free notion of the month. This month it's this, and they're going quick. So if you want to get the notion of the month, come in and get a bunch of stuff, and then we'll give it to you. Thank you for watching us and the What's New video. We love to have our customers enjoy seeing what we have new.